start by themselves. They'll start with their own vision. And depending on how serious you are and how committed you are to that dream will determine whether you stick to it and you make it happen. And if you're waiting for somebody to help you, I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nobody going to make your dream come true. No one. And I'm going to tell you something else. Nobody can steal your dream. You can only give it away. And no matter how hard you have to fight for your dream, I've heard it say a million times, and I stand here before you to tell you that absolutely, for sure, without a hesitation, that the prize is worth the price. And um, 29 years ago, I met a prize. And uh, because I was young and dumb and immature and stupid, I almost lost that prize. My wife, today. And I asked her to come today because I felt it was important. Because, you know, it's not just because behind every successful man is a successful woman or beside every successful man is a successful woman, but everybody knows that through the eyes of their spouse, the truth will be told. And I can't stand before you and tell you that I'm this great guy or that I'm committed to my goals and I'm going to do whatever it takes and then go in another room and then say, I can't wait till I do some damage to some other people or I squeeze everything out of them that I can possibly squeeze. Because my wife knows the truth. She knows what I say behind closed doors. After all, we've lived behind closed doors for 29 years. So I'd like to do, if it's OK with you all, is I'd like to introduce you to my wife, Denise Belsek. She was ready to grab the mic. She's used to speaking, by the way. <laughs> but I, I want you to know something. Um, Denise and I were born servers. You need to know that. For the 29 years that we've been married, we have served organizations and businesses and communities. And since we've been at the church that we're at, my wife has been on the women's ministry and served that ministry for free. Um, the entire time. And we've been there 10 years. We've been there 10 years. And um, a year or so ago, I actually, she told me about this thing called CTBU, which is called Courage to Be You. It's about um, sex trafficking. And instead of sex trafficking outside of the United States, it's actually right here in the United States. And it's your, your neighbor's daughter. It's not someone from another country. And it's real. And um, she told me all about it. She would never stop talking about it. I mean, it's one of those things she became passionate about. And, um, and if you ever go to courage to be you uh, website.com or .org, .org. .org um, there's a video on there. It's, I don't know, it's a three, four minute video. You will not make it through the video, I promise you. It's that powerful. And she told me about this gal named Jenny Williamson and how passionate she was. And I says, that's, that's the woman I'm going to bring on board to be a part of the Successful Thinkers Women's Program. Well, I sat down with her, and I was like sitting down with myself. She was focused on her dream and her vision and what God told her to do and all the things that you can just imagine and how she's got to raise a million dollars and she's got to buy this home for these girls and all this stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from the day that I sat down with her, she's, I don't think she's raised the full million, but she's bought the ranch, 20-acre ranch. She's raised the full million. She's raised the full million. She's bought the 20-acre ranch. She, they, they're getting, they're in the process, almost got their license. They, have, they do concerts all in California, from Northern California, Southern California. Denise was supposed to be on an airplane in the morning this morning, I mean tomorrow morning, because um, they, they, they do concerts to raise money at the churches. And my wife is responsible. This is her job for no money, and she's been doing this for about two years now, to coordinate all the volunteers. And when we did our event at, at Adventure Church in, in uh, November 9th of 2009, I didn't ask her to help me because I, she was already burdened with all the other things that she was doing between Courage to Be You and the women's ministry. And a month before the event was happening, and I knew I was told by the church, I have to get 100 volunteers. And I said, no problem, I'll do it. And she walked, this little five-foot-nothing lady walks up to me and says, Jim, can I help? And I said, as a matter of fact, I need to get 100 volunteers. She goes, let me coordinate it. She goes, that's what I do now. 
And, um, and I, I wanted, you know, if, Denise, if there's anything you would like to say, I want you to know that we have not only been friends, we've been lovers, we've been partners, married together for 29 years. I hope you can hear me. It's um, an honor to be here with all of you. Jim just talks about you guys. He eats, sleeps, drinks, breathes successful thinkers, and I'm sure most of you know that. And he tells me so much about so many of you and your stories and how he's touched by them and how excited he is about the growth of successful thinkers. And um, I'm just honored to be here. I didn't really think I was going to speak or say anything, but um, I am honored to be here before you, and I know your time is precious, so I won't take much of it. But, um, you know, isn't it awesome to be in a place where we can be with like-minded people, that we don't have to be on guard, that we can share our dreams and know that we're going to be reciprocated with an encouraging word. And um, that's what it's all about. And when Jim said that I work really hard, um, getting these volunteers to help put on concerts, it's really not that hard of a job because so many people, once they hear about what we're doing um, with building this home to rescue girls that are um, rescued out of sex trafficking, everyone's like, what can I do? Where, where do you want me? When do you want me? I'm there. And so it, it is um, a blessing in that way that people step up because there is this great, great need. And I won't give you my big um, spiel right now, but if you want to go to c2bu.org and check it out, and if it touches your heart, like Jim said, there's a video on there called Believe in Me, which was written um, about the life of what happens to these young girls, and it, I, I can barely watch it, and I've seen it so many times, but it, it does, um, it is in our backyard, and so, um, just, uh, just uh, our job is as much about raising money to open this home as it is raising awareness. Because so many people say, oh, yeah, that happens in Cambodia. Oh, yeah, that happens in India. Oh, yeah, that happens in Thailand. Oh, yeah, it happens in downtown Sacramento. It happens in Roseville. It happens in Rockland. It happens in here in Elk Grove. Uh, anyway, so it, it does happen. In, and uh, it's in, there's huge um, churches here in the Elk Grove area. There are a group of them called City on the Hill. Are, some of the pastors are actually on our board of directors so um love elk grove and um i'm here often so um anyway but it is just a pleasure and it's exciting i uh, used to see my husband speak all the time it's like oh yeah yeah i know what he's gonna say no yeah 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 there it goes again but i haven't in a while so i'm glad to be here and and share this afternoon with you and like jim said i was actually supposed to fly out tomorrow then i got a phone call the reason why i was late because i thought i was flying out this afternoon because all of our flights are canceled tomorrow and now all the flights out of um Dallas Fort Worth are canceled so nobody's going anywhere so we got the call said just stay home there's probably going to be so much snow in Jackson Mississippi that there won't be many people out anyway so I was looking forward to going to Jackson Mississippi but there'll be another time for that so that's why I was late so anyway um, here I am but anyway it's a blessing to be here with you guys um, I'm excited I know that this is just the beginning um, of what successful thinkers can be and what it can do uh, for all of our goals, all of our dreams, and um, I, I'm just uh, thankful to be um, just a teeny tiny speck in the background watching this grow. So thanks. Sweet.